In this video, I'm going to tell you what I would have done differently if I were to try and break into cybersecurity again. The path I took to land a role in cybersecurity wasn't bad by any means, but it wasn't as efficient as it could have been. And there are some things that I know now that I wish I knew when I was 18 and just getting ready to start my cyber career. Which brings me to my first thing, which is go to a college with a good cybersecurity program. Unfortunately, not everyone can afford to go to college, let alone a private college without taking on a massive amount of debt. However, getting a college degree in cybersecurity or a related field will put you ahead of so many other people looking to get a job in cyber, and many organizations see a bachelor's degree as a prerequisite for getting the job. Unfortunately, with the way things are at the moment, it seems like hiring staff prefer a college degree over any certifications. So if you can afford to go to a university that offers a cybersecurity program, then it is a must for landing a job in cyber fresh out of the gate. From my few years of working experience in the field, it seems like companies look for related work experience, then a degree, then certifications, and a combination of all of these is even better. I went to school for cybersecurity, but the school I went to wasn't known for its cyber program. The cybersecurity program there was relatively new, and this was a public school that I attended, so if I could do it over again, I probably would have done more research on the cybersecurity programs on the colleges I was looking into and the colleges that are around me, and picked the best one for me that was affordable. I also graduated in three years, and that was my goal since the very beginning of college, so I probably should have also looked for any programs that offered a master's degree in four to five years. My mindset at the time was to get in and out of school as quickly as possible so I could get a job quicker and then start climbing the ladder that way, but looking back I think it would have been more beneficial to go to a school with a better program and ones that offered internships with partnered organizations to get my foot in the door sooner. This brings me to my second thing that I would have done differently, which is getting work experience while you're still in college. This is typically done through internships, whether through the school, a local organization, or maybe an organization looking for interns on Indeed or LinkedIn. Having that experience that you can put on your resume puts you ahead of all of the other undergraduates and graduates who just have their bachelor's degree and nothing else to show for themselves. And like I mentioned earlier, from my experience, work experience matters most. When looking for an internship, the best role you could land would be something on the SOC team, like a security analyst intern. Any cyber intern role would be a huge win for your career coming out of college, but you don't necessarily have to land a cyber intern role to get relevant work experience. Getting a job or internship in any IT role, such as a network administrator, or even on the help desk, is still going to look great for employers, and it may even be your foot in the door to a full-time position after college. Alright, the third thing that I would have done differently was start studying for the Security Plus and passing the Security Plus before graduating college. I know college is basically a full-time job, and you won't have a lot of time outside of school to do even more studying, but a lot of the information on the Security Plus you should already be learning through your college classwork, so going over the Security Plus exam objectives and watching a couple Professor Messer videos each night will not only reinforce or even put you ahead of what you're learning in school, but it will also help you focus on the things that will be on the exam when they come up in your classes. If I were to do it all over again, I probably would have tried to pass the Security Plus in my junior year of college. If you watched my Pentest Plus video on this channel, you would know that the Security Plus is a door opening certification that you will see on job posts as either a recommended certification or even a required one. Having the Security Plus under your belt before you graduate will look amazing on your resume and will show employers that you are serious about security and that you know your stuff. Plus it's another check mark that you hit on their hiring checklist. The final thing that I wish I did sooner getting into cybersecurity was started practicing on Try Hack Me and Hack the Box or Hack the Box Academy. I didn't discover TryHackMe until a year after I graduated and started working in cyber, and once I did I instantly was hooked and wish I'd found it sooner. I got pretty much addicted to the gamification of the site, watching my level go up and seeing how I ranked against other people on the site as I continued to learn new concepts. At one point I was top 5000 on the site when it had over 2 million users, and now I currently sit at 6351 because I have since moved on to Hack the Box. TryHackMe completely took any of the boring stuff about learning for me. I took notes on everything as I learned the core concepts of security, as well as the different job roles that exist and the different tools and techniques that each job role uses. TryHackMe really elevated my understanding of the technical side of security, and I think sites like TryHackMe and Hack the Box really bridge the gap between the textbook knowledge that you get from school versus the hands-on work that you do on the job. If you're just starting out, I recommend that you go through the learning paths on TryHackMe first, and after six months to a year, you move on to Hack the Box Academy to start doing their skill paths and job role paths. The reason I say start with TryHackMe and then move on to Hack the Box is I believe that TryHackMe provides a much more rewarding experience when you're just starting out, but Hack the Box's content is much more detailed and oriented towards preparing you to be a penetration tester or SOC analyst or whatever job role that you're specifically looking for. For example, the Hack the Box penetration tester job role path is very rich in important technical information and shows you the many attacks and tools necessary to be a good penetration tester, but the lessons are very wordy and more advanced than what you would find on TryHackMe. 
I think you'll have a much easier time starting out on Try Hack Me since the content holds your hand a bit more. And once you get comfortable, you can jump into the deep end that is Hack the Box. All right, those are my four things I would have done differently if I were to start over in cybersecurity. If you enjoyed or found this video useful, please leave a like because it helps out the channel a lot and subscribe for more cybersecurity content. If you want to talk about cybersecurity, feel free to leave a comment on this video or join my Discord to reach me and the rest of my community. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.